so today I'm going to show you how to do this 3D text effect using Element 3D. First, just make your text layer. Then just click the little eye down here to hide it. Now create a solid layer. And you want to add element to it. Now go to custom layers, custom text and mask, and then just link the text layer. Now just go to scene setup. Click extrude and just change the appearance however you want. And once you're done, just press OK. Now go to group 1 and open particle look. So first we're going to keyframe the particle size. So go to the end of your clip and just increase the size to like how you want your text to look at the end. And then go back to the beginning and just increase it so it fills the screen like this. Now press U to see the keyframes and then just highlight both of these and click F9 to easy ease. And then just add an out graph. Also make sure to turn on motion blur. Next, go to multi-object and click enable. You want to go about halfway through your clip and keyframe the size. And then at the end of your clip, make it zero. Now easy ease those keyframes again. This time you're going to add an in and out graph. Now we're going to keyframe the rotation random. So at the beginning, just rotate it to whatever number. You can just increase it and decrease it however you'd like. Now about halfway through your clip, the same place that we were last time, just make the rotation zero. Make sure that your keyframes line up here. Now go to the end and rotate it the opposite way. So in the beginning, I rotated to the negative direction. So this time I'm gonna rotate it to the positive direction. Now just easy ease these again. And just copy the way that I do the graphs. Halfway through our clip, I'm just going to keyframe the displacement and just go to the end and increase it about like 3 to 5-ish, doesn't really matter. Now easy ease these again and add an in and out graph. Lastly, halfway through our clip, I'm going to keyframe the scatter multi and at the end, just increase that as well. Easy ease these and add an in and out graph again. 